All right, you ready? I want to see good technique and form this round. Okay, okay, good combination work. Next opponent is going to be no match for you. This round, I just want to see heavy punches. Let it go. Beautiful combination. I love it. Keep it up. Put the pressure on him. It's going to be no match for you. You got 30. Let's go. Oh, good job. Yeah, devastating punch. Awesome job. some sweet science. Alright, let's get in there and move. Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. Oh, a kick! What a bruise! Come on, baby, let's go.
I want to see your skills right now. Let's get in there and push. opponent is going to be no match for you. I want to see your skills right now. Let's get in there and push. Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. Burn and get after it. Here we go. Hey. <laughs> yes, that's the way you put him on his back. Come on. I like that. Moving on to the next. Keep at it.
Keep going! You got 30 seconds. Let's go. Don't worry about it. We'll keep drilling this. Okay, I want you to push today. Give it everything you got. Let's go. Right on target. All right, you know we can get a little bit better. So that's what we're gonna do. Speed, time, reaction. That's the goal today. That was some good work in there. Again, drillers make killers. Burn and get after it. Here we go. Nice, nice. Really great job today. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Nice pass. Now that's how you throw a combination. Awesome stuff. Beautiful setup on that submission. Beautiful. Nice, nice. You're almost there. The tap is coming. 30 seconds. Nice pass. Keep working. Nice. Nice.
Okay, time to work. Let's go. Beautiful combination. Keep it up, put the pressure on it. That was some good work in there. Again, drillers make killers. All right, coming up next, the matchup for the UFC Heavyweight Division title. While the bonuses and the accolades have continued to pile up for one of the best heavyweights in the world, Stipe Miocic, and rightfully so, of course, who can forget when he wrested the belt away from Fabricio Verdum in Brazil at UFC 198. And then what he did after the fact against Alistair Overeem and Junior Dos Santos put him on a pedestal as truly one of the best heavyweights of all time. And it should, because when you have those types of names on your resume, you will be considered one of the greatest fighters the division has ever seen. Stipe has the ability to win fights in a number of ways. Unbelievable boxer, has great footwork, but also was a division one level wrestler right. at Cleveland State University. Fights fires pretty well too. I'm He's told. really good at that. Yes, <laughs> I went to the firehouse and it's intense as it comes. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. And now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. 
And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. If you see first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 25 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Independence, Ohio, presenting the challenger, Stipe Miocic. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 21 wins, no losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Brock Lesnar! All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, here is round one of this UFC heavyweight championship fight. The baddest man on the planet. There he is in the flesh. He has defended this title in the past. And despite the fact that this has been a belt that has changed hands quite a bit, not since this man has held it down. We'll see if he can keep his championship legacy going here tonight. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Miocic. Submission defense there. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest dip. He's attacking the neck on himself. Oh! Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, now he's in trouble. Submission beautifully executed there on the ground. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, Look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you gun shy. And right now he's very tentative to let his offense go because of the fear of getting taken down back to the mat again. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him 
that puts them in danger in finishing fights. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 45 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a Darsh choke. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Brock Lesnar! And still the baddest man on the planet, and now with another highlight for the real, the heavyweight champion submits the number one contender here tonight and now celebrates with his corner after just a monumental performance here tonight. I'm not sure we've ever seen him perform more cleanly or more efficiently than he did here tonight. Your heavyweight champion and still a winner by submission tonight. All right, some sweet science. Let's go. Good, yes, I love those strikes. Nice combination there, let's go. Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. Ooh, huge punch. That was huge. That must have hurt. I like that. More of that, okay? Good work with your hands. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. It's starting to fall apart. And 30 to go.
Speed. Time. Reaction. That's the goal today. Gonna dominate. Guaranteed. Today, I want to see you sharp and quick. Oh yeah, that's how champions train. Yeah, work on that kickboxing damage, yes! in there. Beautiful kicks with high volume. Nobody can stand up to that. Today, let's go in there and get after it. Beautiful combination. Keep it up, put the pressure on it. Gonna be no match for you.
takedowns. What are we doing today? That's right, takedowns. Moving on to the next. Keep at it. Nice, good takedown. Come on. Perfect work. Come on now, you got 30. Don't worry about it, you're getting better. All right, I want to see you kill it today. Let's go in there and crush this. Good, yes, I love those strikes. Nice combination there, let's go. Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you.
All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and the same reach. We send it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 247 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, presenting the challenger, Surreal Bangamaka. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 22 wins, no losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Brock Lesnar. All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it fair. Ready. Here's round one of this UFC heavyweight championship fight. The baddest man on the planet. There he is in the flesh. He has defended this title in the past. And despite the fact that this has been a belt that has changed hands quick. Double leg shot. Oh, this is All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Remaining active here in his pursuit of the submission. Another attempt here. Push the arm down, maybe stepping into a crucifix. 
Wow, you don't see that very often. Oh, he's in trouble here. No way! His opponent had to tap from an inverted triangle. This is not something we see very often. Well, I don't determine who wins the bonuses, but when you execute an inverted triangle choke like that, 50 G. Pay that man. Pay that man. He got him! What a fight! So yeah, it came down to tap out or go to sleep, and his opponent chose the former. The choke was clearly sunk in deep. Perfect technique, and ultimately that is one of the bigger wins of his career. He gets it done by submission here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger in finishing fights. All right, so there is the consensus baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion, your winner tonight by way of submission. He leaned on the grappling. That was the path of least resistance, and that is the man they are all chasing for UFC heavyweight gold. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 15 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a reverse triangle. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Brock Lesnar. And still the baddest man on the planet. And now with another highlight for the real, the heavyweight champion submits the number one contender here tonight and now celebrates with his corner after just a monumental performance here tonight. I'm not sure we've ever seen him perform more cleanly or more efficiently than he did here tonight. Your heavyweight champion and still a winner by submission tonight. Today, we're really gonna tighten it up. Here we go. Great sequence of strikes there. Here we go. That 
is beautiful. That's how we work. This is when we put it all together. Great job. This round, I just want to see heavy punches. Let it go. Work with your hands. Eh, yeah, starting to fall apart. I love it. Pressure on it. Don't stop now. You got thirty seconds. Ooh, huge punch. That was huge. That must have hurt. I like that. More of that, okay? This is a lesson to get better. Ready? Let's go. Awesome combo. That's what we want. Dominated today. Good work. Devastating kick. That's what I'm talking about. Just like that. Just like that. Don't stop now. You got 30 seconds. Just keep running.
in wrestling are the most successful takedowns in MMA. So that's all we're gonna drill today. Let's go. Beautiful combination. I love it. Keep it up. Put the pressure on him. Circle, circle, circle. Remember, repetition is key, and it always pays off. So let's go. Come on now, you got 30. Set it up. Great job today. Now that's what I want to see. Keeping busy in the clinch and working for that takedown. Okay, I want you to push today. Give it everything you got. Let's go. Beautiful combination. Keep it up. Put the pressure on it. Oh, you look like a champion in there. I want to see you kill it today. Let's go in there and crush it. Nice work. Lock him down. Man, your next opponent is going to be no match for you. Nice work. Lock him down. Great work, great work. Focus on progressing that submission. That's it, keep going, the submission is there. Let's push the pace on, ready to go, show me. I love it. Keep it up. Put the pressure on him. It's 
Saw some nice work today that led to some great positions. Keep that hustle up. Speed, timing, reaction, that's the goal today. This is when we put it all together. Great job. All right, let's get in there. Let's push yourself today. Let's see what you got. You're doing great. It's going to be no match for you.
All right, coming up next, the matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than five years apart with similar height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC heavyweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 20 wins, eight losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, presenting the challenger, Curtis Racer. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 23 wins, no losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Brock Lesnar! UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. Looking to defend his title yet again. We'll see if he can keep that trend going here tonight. He's showing every part of it. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. The right hand just misses. Nice right hand. Oh, 
straight fight. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Body kick is blocked. Oh, nice shot there. Takedown landed by Blades. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. Lands a huge right hand. Side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. Blades gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Single collar tie there. Nice punch there by Blades. Oh. Oh, big left hook there. was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Now we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like we got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop for this contest at 3 minutes, 18 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, DC, you know what it's like to be the UFC heavyweight champion. It's not the easiest belt to defend. Kind of made it look easy to me. I mean, that's why the belt changes and changes so fast. Things change so quick at heavyweight. But with this gentleman, with this guy, you know that he has all the skills to reign atop a volatile division for a long time.
This round, I just want to see heavy punches. Let it go. Great. Hey, good job today. You really crushed it out there. Nice punch. Nice punch. He felt that one. Job in there. I can already see some improvement in your punching. Today, we're really gonna tighten it up. Here we go. Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. You ready? I want to see good technique and form this round. Oh! <laughs> yeah! Yeah, nice kick. Yeah, he felt that one. Uh-huh. Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. Good combination work. Come on. Great kickboxing damage. Good job. Keep going. Show me! Mm. Nice kick. That's a nice one. You felt that one. Beautiful job. Your kicks look so easy. Anytime you see it, just throw it.
Today, we're really gonna tighten it up. Here we go. Strikes together, come on. Nice, nice. Really great job today. Okay, time to work. Let's go.
You know we could have done a little bit better. But we could have done worse, too. Today, let's go in there and get after it. for you. I want you to get the takedown and get top position. Let's be real heavy on top and control our sparring partner. Let's go. There we go. Just like that. Again. Man, your next opponent is going to be no match for you. Hold her there. job. That's what I want to see. Keep him busy in the clinch and working for the takedown. Nice work. Today, we're really gonna tighten it up. Here we go. Nice. 
I love those strikes. I love those strikes. Nice combination there. Listen, you fight like that, you're gonna dominate. Guaranteed. All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest man on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk. And Cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with the same height and some differences in reach. Now for the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. 
live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record on. 22 wins, three losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, presenting the challenger, Sergey Pavlovich. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 24 wins, no losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Brock Lesnar! All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, do not fight. All right, here is round one of this UFC Heavyweight Championship fight. The baddest man on the planet. There he is in the flesh. He has defended this title in the past. Whoa! Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. There are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Hands a big right hand early. Oh, nice high kick. Oh, high amplitude head kick. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa. How he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind up so fast. Eventually, guys can stop from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? What a punch. What a big time As he takes take him down, now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. All right, side control now. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Looks like he's trying for a submission now. He's got his chin in, but now it's starting to slip under the neck. And he's out. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Back to the feet now. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Mixes it up nicely. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish this fight. And no any straps so far. Whoa, 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 whoa. Catch a breath. Breathe. 
guys. You can do this now. I want you to go down and put your combination straight down the middle. I need more of that. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. over those previous five minutes. Volume takedowns, offensive wrestling. Yeah, this is an exhausting type of fight. Not only for the offensive fighter, but also for the opponent. Always being under attack, always being defensive, always reacting starts to really wear at your gas tank. It's interesting to see who is more fresh going into the next round. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta calls a stop to this contest at two minutes, 10 seconds of round number two. For the winner by submission, and still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Brock And still the baddest man on the planet, and now with another highlight for the real, the heavyweight champion submits the number one contender here tonight and now celebrates with his corner after just a monumental performance here tonight. I'm not sure we've ever seen him perform more cleanly or more efficiently than he did here tonight. Your heavyweight champion and still a winner by submission tonight. 